So I want to bring out this video on PJ Washington and talk about him celebrating his 25th birthday and also give y'all an update on this free agency situation. So if y'all don't know, just recently on August the 23rd, which was on a Wednesday, PJ Washington celebrated his 25th birthday in Miami with his fiance Elisa. They both decided to go out to this restaurant called Player Miami that's located in Miami Beach as well as going to a club right after and just having fun and doing their own thing. When you look on PJ's Instagram, you can see that he posted some pictures once he arrived to Miami, getting ready for his birthday. The first one that he posted, him and Elisa were just out and about shopping in the city while PJ holding multiple designer bags and gifts. So you know, he was definitely going all in and splurging on himself for sure. He also put in a capture of his first post by saying, no emotion, just motion, 25. So as you can see, just by reading his caption, PJ clearly is not worried about none of the extra stuff and he's just doing him, living his life. Because sometimes you just have to cut off your emotions and just live in motion. So I definitely agree with that caption for sure. He just speaking nothing but facts with that one. And it's even funny because when you read the comments on his post, some girl basically tried to shoot her shot at PJ and Elisa responded to her and said, keep dreaming. So as you can see, Elisa clearly ain't playing about PJ because she be all in bro's comments waiting for some girl to try to take her spot or say something that she don't like. And you know she's going to respond every single time. So the very next day, he then made another post showing a recap on the night of his birthday. And that's when they went out to eat at the restaurant called Player Miami and also went to the club right after. You can see PJ holding multiple ones to his ears while smiling because you already know where they at. He also posted another picture with Elisa sitting right next to him and you can see a whole bunch of ones on the floor. And when you read the caption of the post, he put, I can't tell my story without putting you in. So he clearly was talking about Elisa because she is honestly in all of his pictures now and you can tell that he actually really do likes her. I mean, she is his fiance for a reason. And I'm not even going to lie. It is dope to see the type of bond and connection that PJ and Elisa has together because they are really comfortable being around each other all the time and it don't even matter where they are at. They be going to clubs together and everything. Like you don't really see that type of bond all the time and it's like wherever PJ goes, she literally goes with him and they both really just comfortable with each other. And it's actually really funny to me because if y'all don't know, PJ actually met Elisa at a club because about a year ago when they both decided to go on Instagram live for the first time, she told everyone that they met outside of the club and started laughing with her friend. And around that time, Everyone was on PJ because of his situation with Brittany Renner. So right when people found out that he finally moved on with Elisa, you could tell when she first told everyone on how they met, he was kind of embarrassed at first because he tries to interrupt her and say, no, look, y'all, this is how we met. But Elisa already gave it away. So PJ was just like, forget it. So once they actually started to get real locked in, they both were still partying and going to the club. And it's just the difference this time is that they're actually in a relationship and they're still doing it until this day. So that really is interesting to me and that just shows the type of bond that they have together and they both actually do like being around each other. So happy birthday to PJ Washington. He just turned 25 years old which is the same age as me. Next thing you know we're 26 years old and it's just going to keep going. So of course you got to live it up. Now let's talk about PJ Washington's free agency situation. So we all know PJ is currently a restricted free agent after finishing off his four year $12 million contract playing with the Charlotte Hornets. If y'all are not informed. About two weeks ago, sources did came out that PJ has not received a single offer sheet across his agent's desk, which I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it seems like it could be true because PJ still has not signed a new contract with any team. The reason on why his situation is being delayed with the Charlotte Hornets is because PJ already established that he's looking for around 18 to 20 million per year on his next contract. So he clearly wants more money and he actually would prefer to stay in Charlotte. But the thing is, the Charlotte Hornets are currently not on the same page with him because they think that he is worth around the $12 million range with a mid-level exception. Mainly because he is not an all-star caliber player for them by only averaging 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists throughout 73 games during this past season, which was actually his best season so far being in the league. And we all know he has been playing for Charlotte ever since he got drafted. So now that his rookie contract is up, things were actually supposed to be simple, such as a team offering a paid increase on his current salary. 
which the Charlotte Hornets could match the offer, but no offer has came through yet. So I'm not sure what's really going on with that. Worst case scenario, PJ Washington would just have to opt into his qualifying offer and become an unrestricted free agent next summer, just like Miles Bridges. So if that does end up happening, that means he'll be on a one year $8.5 million contract with the Hornets for next season. Then next summer, he will be an unrestricted free agent to possibly sign with a new team. So we honestly just have to wait it out and see what happens. PJ hasn't really spoke on his free agency situation. He's just been doing his own thing and letting everything play out until a team sends him an offer that he desires. But we all know training camp is about to come very soon. So time is ticking for him on what he's going to do. I even saw a tweet that someone made a couple days ago and it says PJ Washington gets paid. And you can see they put paid in all caps. So I'm not sure if he's going to get the contract that he wants this summer because a lot of Hornets fans are wondering if he's going to resign with them or not. Just recently when his birthday passed, the Charlotte Hornets social media account gave him a birthday shout out. And when you read the comments, everyone is wondering on what's going on with his situation. So we're going to see on what's going to happen throughout the remainder of this offseason. The thing about PJ Washington is that he has been getting better and improving his game every single year since being in the league. In my opinion, he definitely has the potential to become a first time all-star next year, knowing the money that will be on the table for him next summer. So if nothing happens for him this offseason, PJ just need to take the qualifying offer with the Hornets, even though that is a bad look for them, because that basically means that they can lose him and Miles Bridges next summer. And you know Melo ain't going to be feeling that because those are his main guys, including Terry Rozier. So the Hornets really do need to play this smart so they won't regret it in the long run because PJ and Miles are two big impacts on the team. And it would suck to see both of them go next offseason. So I definitely want y'all to leave your comments and opinions below on how you feel about this. I just want to bring y'all this video and talk about his 25th birthday and also give y'all an update on his contract situation. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T Gang, we out.